All right, hello to all my subscribers who are watching this video and to anyone who isn't subscribed that is watching this video, please subscribe, uh, just to remind you. Um, so this is, this is probably just gonna be a regular vlog video. Um, I'm not gonna be working on my play, writing it at all or anything like that. I'm just gonna be here to um, talk about my day, talk about my feelings, um, hopefully get um, all of you all's opinions on things. Uh, question number one, comment below if you think my hair is a mess. Um, I'm recording this at um, almost exactly midnight, and I don't know, it'll be at least 30 minutes probably. Or who knows? I'm not sure exactly, but um, so. let's see. So, let's see, for today, um, I just got my computer on right now to get some extra light on my face, unless you want me to do this the whole time. Um, let's see. Last night, I closed at work. My feet are killing me. It's getting to the point where I think that my work shoes might be causing permanent damage to my feet because I have never had this much foot pain in my life. Not, he's like, not, not back when I, you know, played sports and did tons of running you know, because I'm, fl I'm flat-footed. And so, um, in my early life, I had a lot of foot pain. But that's since gone away as my body has gotten used to it. But now, it's getting to the point where I'm doing so much more walking. And then, um, and then, um, and so, um, oh god, so, um, the work shoes that I have, they're really sturdy and durable, but they're not super comfortable. Like, I put them on and I take a few steps and it feels like my, it feels like it's like moving the bones in my toes out of place or something like that. And then like after an hour of me walking in them, it's just a radiating pain that goes into my heels and into my, into my calves, which I don't know if that's a good pain like my like my legs are getting stronger because of all the walking that I'm doing because it is great exercise but also hurts a lot and it doesn't help that it doesn't help that I never have more than two days off in a row not because I'm asking for more work just because you know I'm just working a lot of days like right now on average during the summertime I'm working like I'm working five days a week on average which is fine, you know. I get paid a good wage at my job right now, and so um, it's not bad for me um, if I don't work a lot. And so, so, so it'll be easier whenever the semester starts because I won't be working as much and I can focus on school more so. And then, you know, with all the walking I'll be doing on campus, that'll be, it'll be a much easier for me to, um, and my, my feet probably won't hurt as much, and I'll definitely try to get some new shoes by then that won't, um, that won't, uh, make, make my feet, uh, melt off, so, um, yeah, but last night I closed, I didn't get back to my apartment till, like, midnight or 11 or 12.30, I think, and so, which would be fine, because then I would have had today off, and then I just work tomorrow on Wednesday. But then um, earlier, earlier in the day, yesterday, one of my coworkers texted our group chat saying that she was feeling really sick and she wanted me to, or she, she wanted somebody, she wanted to know if somebody would take her shift. Um, because she didn't want to have to call in in the morning because apparently calling is a thing that my coworkers do a lot. Maybe not my course specifically at my position, but other people who work at the restaurant. And so, um, but then, um, no, but so then I decided to take it because she also said she would give 10 bucks to anybody who took it and I'm not about to um, pass up on essentially free money. So um, I take it. And so the shift was to open this morning and then I worked until like three or four o'clock um, and it's just, you know, going from closing to immediately getting back to your apartment at 1230 to then have to be at the store the next morning at 10 a.m. or earlier is hard because 
I'm not gonna get as much sleep as I want to because which is better I mean because you know I don't want to just lay in my apartment and do nothing but sleep all day long because that's just that's boring to me like I'm I, I, I said I think I talked about this in the last video it's getting to the point where I'm hating as I get older I'm hating the summertime more and more because I'm just so bored because I don't have any money to go out and do things or go on vacation or take trips or anything like that and so I just have to sit at my apartment you know playing video games but you know playing games by myself is fun enough up to a certain point and then I start to get bored of the game there are certain games I just don't want to play because I'm not in the mood to play them I'd love to play games with my friends but there are certain games that we don't like to play unless it's more than two of us um, there are certain games that I want to play but my friend doesn't want to play and vice versa and so sometimes we just don't end up playing games at all. And then on top of everything else, I'm not getting, because with, uh, with how much I'm working, I straight up feels like I'm not getting enough sleep right now. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, and so then, and so then beyond that, um, yeah, so yeah, I just, it's, it's, I'm just, I'm just so bored during the summertime, like, I wish that I could just skip to, you know, the first day of class, which is, I mean, it's, it's pretty close now, we're gonna be there pretty soon, and so, I mean, the sad part is, is that whenever, um, whenever school starts back up, content on the channel might slow down a little bit, which I'm gonna hopefully try to keep up with it, and give, like, at least one video every day, or every two or three days because I don't want to just I don't I don't want to just disappear for three months especially not when the channel has seems like it's growing steadily I don't want that um yeah so you know I get off work at like 12 30 last night um I get back to my part I still haven't eaten dinner so you know I have to eat dinner real quick which takes like 30 minutes to make dinner, eat dinner, and then um, finally get my clothes off and into bed, and then it's like one or one thirty, and then on top of everything else, if it's it's been it's been hot, it's been so hot lately. It was like ninety seven degrees today, which it wasn't that hot yesterday. But the scary thing is that it rained today. It rained today, and it was still ninety seven degrees outside. It freaking blow my mind out of my ass. But how with how absurd it is. With how absurdly hot it's been. Um, so, um, right. I didn't go, I, long story short, I didn't fall asleep till like 2 or 2.30. And so then I get, so then I'm, so now I'm getting barely 6 or 7 hours, which is enough, but it's not as many as I want, you know. Your doctor says that you should get 8 hours of sleep every night, not just because it's healthy, but because it also helps with um, motivation. So I'm a big fan of Dr. Mike on YouTube. I love watching his shows. He's so he's so smart and he's so good at explaining stuff. And one of the things I remember from a video I watched of his one time is that um, if you don't get the correct amount of sleep, which is eight hours or more, um, you wake up tired. And so when you're tired, you feel less motivated, which means that you, you, know, you don't want to try as hard. You just want to sit there and not do your job as hard as you should do your job. And so... That's kind of how I was feeling, you know, this morning, like, and so, you know, I wake up whenever I wake up. I set like 50 different alarms to make sure I don't miss work because I can handle not, I just like, I'm fine, like, like, I'm fine with going into work at any time, but I am so deathly terrified of being late to work for any reason, that there are days when I will show up to work an hour early because I'm too nervous or anxious about missing work. And it's especially like that whenever it's like, I'm at a new job and it's like my first or second day, I do, I try so hard to make sure that I'm not even, that I am that I am so not late or not. And it says that I, I, I don't believe in um, showing up right when you're supposed to be there. I always believe in showing up early because, um, because um, managers and supervisors love employees who are punctual, punctual, and they love employees that are eager to do stuff. 
And so I've always tried to be that way. So that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I always like to show up early, and I like to show willingness to um, do my job because then that makes them like you, and that that leads to pay raises and promotions and other things like that. And so, so beyond that, um, so yeah, I get there to work this morning. We open up the store. It's just one of those things where like it's a Monday. It's a Monday, and we were so. It's a Monday and we were pretty busy. Like, and this is a regular thing. I mean, I watch Gordon Ramsay. Um, I watch, I, I like to watch the Gordon Ramsay episode of Hot Ones by First We Feast. And um, he says something in the video where he says um, that the mark of a good restaurant is being packed Monday through Thursday, Sunday through Thursday night. Where if you can, if you can be packed on those days, throughout those days, then you know Friday and Saturday, and even Sunday, usually are gonna it's like Friday and the weekend are gonna take care of themselves. So you just have to. Um, so as I said, if you're packed, if you're um, if you're full or if you're half full, if you're steady on Monday through Thursday, then you're gonna be doing perfectly fine. And we are. We usually are. We usually are. Um, we we just get a ton of business, tons of to go orders, tons of people coming in. We have a bar that people go into. And it's just, just so much, just so much. And then my job isn't hard, but it's just, it's, yeah, it's one of those things where like, my job isn't hard, but it's just a lot sometimes, especially when I'm the only person working my position that day, because you're not going to have more than one person doing that on a Monday, maybe a Friday or a Saturday or any other days that we have a special going on, but not a Monday. And so when you have more business than you expect on a certain day and you don't, have enough staff then that creates a lot of problems which is usually how it works out but you know we survive and we we get it done so we're all fine um and so it's one of those things um you know so the, the i mean this the thing about my job is that like my job is easy but then there's also a lot of work on top of it and a lot of cleaning um but then it's just one of those jobs where if you don't got anything to do, then you just stand around, which is boring. But the thing is that we're not allowed to have our phones out for any reason. But of course, everyone still does it anyway, because duh. You know, we're all relatively young and we're growing up in this extremely advanced technological age. Who doesn't have a smartphone with, you know, their favorite game on it or, you know, someone that they, somebody texting them about this and that. Or, you know, go on Reddit and look at all the memes got some pretty good memes on reddit pretty nice ones and so um and so that's just how it is um after i got off work i came straight back to my apartment stripped naked and i took a i took a nap i took it i took like a solid two or three hour nap because i was just because i was just that tired and it's just i was just like deathly deathly tired luckily i don't work again till tomorrow night at seven because I'm closing the store and then and then I'm working Wednesday but I'm closing again on Wednesday but I'll have to come into the store a little bit earlier because when we don't get a lot of we don't get it the Wednesdays are like Mondays where we're not expecting a lot of business but anything could happen and right now it's the summertime too so we're not going to get as much business in the summertime because it's a college town but then whenever the semester gets here, it's just going to be like, you know, freaking football games are going to happen where the way it's going to work on nights when, um, when the university football games are happening is, um, the way it's going to work on the university football games is, so this, this happened with the recent UFC fight that we had, um, that was a McGregor versus Poirier or Poirier, whatever the hell his name is, where, um, People would come in, get a table, eat their food, and then they would just sit there and they would wait for the fight to happen. And literally, we had it was a it was a full on packed house. We did not I don't think we had a single seat available. Um, and it just got to the point where we were just having to straight up turn people away because we were like, hey guys, sorry, we don't have any tables right now because people are just here to watch the fight. And we can't ask the people to leave because they are paying customers and they're still getting drinks and other things like that. 
and of course it's not illegal because it's not loitering because they're not just in there just you know leeching away our, our free TV because I mean, we have had people do that before one of my managers told me that there was another big UFC fight from a few months ago where people were just coming in and literally there was nowhere to sit so they were just having food brought to them where they would stand up someplace and eat to watch the fight and I was just like I don't fucking care about any sport that much to want to go to a place where I can watch that game out in public and then just stand there and watch it at a restaurant and not even eat food I, don't, I mean I, I don't I don't care about any sport I like watching basketball and I was excited that I was gonna get to watch the finals and everything like that but it's just nah, no I would never do that so the only reason why I was able to watch the finals is because I was able to see it at work and I if I hadn't been working at it and I would have seen all of the highlights on the NBA's YouTube channel and that would have been perfectly fine with me so and so, yeah, that's how it's going to be for that's how it's going to be for university football games. People are going to show up. They're going to eat food. They're not going to leave until the game is over, and we are going to have to turn so many people away. And I'm going to get yelled at a lot because because they have to pick a scapegoat to get upset at just because. So then that's that's the worst thing about working in food service is that all customers are dumbasses. They are stupid. Sorry, but that's the truth. Like, people come in, it blows, it blows the shit out of my mind. The amount of people who don't know that you pay at your table. You don't, you don't come to the front desk to try to pay for your food. You pay at your table. That literally happened last night. These, and like, like, they're college students that are my age, if not, if not maybe younger even. And I was just like, what restaurant have you eaten at in your life where they ask you to pay at the front desk? I've eaten at exactly one, and it was a family-owned restaurant that was old as dirt. They literally still had, they literally had a, a manual cash register still. I had never seen one of those in my entire life until I went to that place. And we're a big-ass chain restaurant. I don't understand the last time you've eaten here, but for most restaurants nowadays, because I mean, the the only ones that still really exist. Our chain restaurants, a lot of the local family-owned ones are going out of business more and more nowadays because they just can't compete. But it's just like, what? I don't know what kind of business you think we are, but you're sorry, you pay at your table. And I wanted to tell the guy when he walked up to me and handed me that $100 bill that he was a dumbass and that he needed to go back to his table. But I can't do that for obvious reasons because I would obviously get fired and that guy would complain. And hell, he might have even tried to fight me because he looked like one of those guys. And then, and then the biggest thing that I was worried about is that my manager goes out there and talks to them, and then um, I don't even think they actually paid. All I know is that my manager went out there and talked to them. He leaves. I go back to the front desk, and they're gone. Like, they're not at their table. I didn't see them heading towards the bathroom, so I'm pretty sure that they just, like, dined and dashed. I don't know why. The guy handed me a $100 bill. He could obvious, he obviously would have been able to pay for it. Unless it was a fake, because yeah, we do we we do have a counterfeit pen for all one hundred dollar bill um, transactions, and so um, God, it's just a it's just an absolute load of shit, and I hate it. <coughs> so <coughs> yeah, but so um, right, it, it it's I can't believe it. It blows my mind the amount of people who don't who don't know because it literally happens multiple times a week somebody will come up to the front desk asking asking if they pay at the front desk like they haven't eaten here before they don't know that that every single restaurant is like that of course you, of course you pay at your table what the fuck okay um no but then so yeah i get back to my apartment i take like a two or three hour nap um i realized that i haven't i had not eaten that yet at that point today so I decide to go to the corner store and I buy uh, some, some Hostess snack cakes. I really, I really like Hostess's cupcakes. The, the Hostess cupcakes, I think those are really great. And um, I drink them with milk because I, I, th I think milk really pairs well with anything chocolate. Anything chocolate, milk pairs super great with it in my mind. And I think, just think milk is pretty just, I think milk is just pretty good, honestly. Um, I eat that. Then I go back to work, and I, or then I finish my cupcakes, and I'm like, okay, I need I need actual food. So then I go 
So then I so then I go back to work in just my regular clothes and I order a takeout order, come back to my apartment, eat it. It was honestly too much food, but I'd also never I don't also I also never eat at my at my job, so I really wasn't I really wasn't sure what was what was gonna be too much and what wasn't gonna be enough. But I know that the food I got was too much. It was probably too expensive as well. I probably shouldn't have spent that much money on it. Um gosh. So then I got back to my apartment or I get back to my apartment, I eat my food. Then I get on my computer because then I'm like, well, I really want to play Diablo 2, but my friend is online, so I'll message him and ask him. I'll message him and ask him um, if uh, he wants to play anything. So we're both in the Discord channel. He isn't sure. Neither one of us is sure what to play because I really want to play Diablo 2 and I'm, we've all, me, him, and another one of my friends, because all three of us are playing through Borderlands right now, we have all decided that we are going to get um, Diablo 2 Resurrection whenever it comes out in September and we're all going to pay the $40 because we'll all have plenty of money by then. And so we're all going to play that together whenever it comes out, which is, I mean, I'm super excited for that. I'm just super excited for the Diablo 2 remake anyway because i've seen some screenshots of it and it's it looks new and refreshing but it still has that old school graphical feel about it so i'm really excited to see what the game is going to be like um so then so then um yeah we don't know what to play so we go through our list on steam of what all the games all the games that we have are because we're because it's got to the point where like we're gonna have to we're, we're like okay we're gonna have to go through and reinstall something and play through something again that we haven't been able to play together. Where both of us are really excited for Total War Warhammer Three to come out late this year. It's gonna, they're probably gonna release it like the last day of the year or like on Christmas or something like that. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be really stupid. It's gonna make no sense. Um, and so. So we're gonna, yeah, we're 100% we're gonna play it. Both of us already have it. Both of us have already um, pre-purchased it. So I'm definitely gonna play the hell out of that game. I'm probably gonna like stream it on Twitch. If you guys wanna know what my um, Twitch stream tag is, I will leave it down in the comment section if you ask to, if you ask for it. <coughs> um, and so um, basically, um, so there's this game called Shell Shock Live, which it's super inexpensive, really small game, so good, extremely quality. It's a 2D um, turn-based tank fighting game. So like you're on one side, your opponent's on the other side. You take turns shooting at each other. Whoever dies first is the loser. There's t there's like there's literally hundreds of weird, wacky attack attacks and other things like that in the game that are it's just so fun to play um we haven't played it in years i don't think i've played it since like 2017 or 2018 or something like that so it's been a solid three years since i last played it um i'm like okay we could play that so i uninstalled anyway because the game is the game is microscopic um i literally downloaded it in 10 seconds yeah yeah i installed the game in 10 seconds he says he's not sure what he wants to play or he said, or he says he really, he says he doesn't plan on playing anything at all. Um, or that he doesn't really plan on playing anything at all. Because he's trying to um, keep a, keep a more level sleeping schedule. Especially since he's trying to find, <coughs> he's trying to find a job now that he's, now that he's graduated from university. And so, um, because he doesn't know whenever he's going to find the job. And then whenever he does get the job, they're probably going to be like, okay, you need to wake up at 6 a.m. on all these days. And obviously, obviously, we can't st stay up till you know freaking two o'clock at night playing playing games together. If he's got to be, if he has to wake up outrageously early like that, <laughs> and so and so um, and so it's pretty. It's it's literally as simple as um, so like um, so. I thought we were gonna play this um, Shell Shock Live game. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go poop, and that's, <laughs> so um, I take off my headphones. I take off my earbuds and I go into the bathroom, do my thing. I come back and he's not there, which is kind of what I expected. I didn't really think that he, he didn't really seem like he wanted to play anything. And so, so then, um, 
I played a couple of single player missions in Shellshock, which is, they were pretty hard. Like that was the last one that I was trying to beat was hard, especially since it was like, a, it's like a challenge mission. So you only have a limited number of weapons or like a specific type of weapon that you can use to beat a bunch of like all these enemies and everything else. And so, um, so I do a couple of those and then I, then I played Diablo 2. I, I, uh, played Diablo 2 for like a solid hour, hour and a half. I think the game is so much fun. <coughs> and, um, I'm really liking it. I remember I started, I started, um, watching the, so the first time I got exposed to Diablo 2 was on a GDQ, or was by watching it in, um, in Games Done Quick and GDQ. I think it was SGDQ 2018 or 2019. I think where Mr. Llama SC um, uh, did the Necromancer run, which made me fall in love with the Necromancer character. <coughs> and another one of the things I noticed about, so Diablo 2 is just a regular RPG for the most part. You know, you run around killing monsters, finding better items, leveling up, and increasing your stats. But the fun thing about um, the fun thing about Diablo 2 is that. I think the way that it separates itself from other RPGs, like, like, um, like, yeah, like other RPGs from that era, is that, um, one, I don't think that there's a level cap. I'm not sure if there is or not, but I don't, I haven't, I haven't seen any evidence of one. And another thing that's awesome about the game is that, so, um, as far as I know, every time you level up, you get to level up a skill. So, um, the Necromancer has a skill that's called Raise Skeleton, which is where you, um, you right click. Or you click on you click on the dead corpse <coughs> of a monster, and it will resummon itself as a skeleton that fights for you. It's a super awesome spell that the Necromancer has. I really love it. And so, um, it seems like you can upgrade skills indefinitely. So, in most RPGs, it's, so, it's yeah. So in most RPGs, you level up a skill, and it just increases like the amount of health the skeleton has and the amount of damage it does. The way that um. The way that it feels like Diablo 2 has um, separated itself from that is that um, there are certain thresholds for levels. Um, so, like for this, for the so for the Ray Skeleton spell, <coughs> whenever you put, you reach a certain level with that with the with the skill, and it increases the um, the total number of skeletons that you can have raised at one time. Right now, in my character, I'm up to five skeletons at once, which I raised all the way from one skeleton. Now I'm at five. But I know I can definitely go up to six. I think the most I've ever seen someone have at once is like is like somewhere between ten and fifteen. And I'm not even sure if that's the limit. It probably isn't though. But you'd probably have to be like level thirty or thirty five with the with the skill, honestly, to go any higher than that. <coughs> and it's not even just for the race skeleton skill. Um, <coughs> in the speed run for Necromancer. In the speedrun for Necromancer, um, they use a skill called Teeth, which is lit which is literally where you shoot teeth out of your wand. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, which it, it just looks like it just looks like a freaking magic orb that goes over and punches the enemy in the face, something like that. But every single time you level up the skill, it increases the amount of teeth that you shoot with one with a single cast. And I thought that was so awesome. It one hundred percent seeing that one hundred percent hooked me onto the game. Yeah, seeing that 100% hooked me onto the game, I bought the game. The way you buy, so so buying Diablo 2, the original version from the Blizzard store, isn't fine. The way that you install the game, though, is so shady and weird that it made me feel like I was getting straight up spammed. Which I wasn't, obviously. The game is the game runs perfectly fine. That game has no issues at all. The game is super easy. It loads super fast because it's not a big game at all. It's like It's like one gig or something like that. Not even, maybe... <coughs> but super big game really quality great voice acting great you know great graphics really nice pretty sexy um, graphical style <laughs> and so yep I was playing that for like a solid hour and a half I think until I decided that I wanted to start this new vlog series which is where we are now and um, yep and that's about it that's how my day went and that's all the major things that I did today um, uh, if you've made it this far into the video, um, please, please tell me how your day went.
I want to know. I want to, if you're struggling with anything, I want to offer my help in any way that I can, which would probably just be some friendly advice, either in the next video or in the comment section down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please remember to leave a like on it. It really helps me out. Remember to subscribe to my channel to see more content just like this. It helps that kind of stuff helps keep me motivated and helps me make more better content for you all, which I know you all seem to enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, or just regular suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will, um, I will react to it in some way or I will reply to it directly if it's a question or something like that. Whether it's in the in the comment section or maybe I'll address it directly in the next video that I make. And so, um, but that's that's everything. Um, thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye.